As an artist with my animation, I want to get the message across really clear and simple, so everybody understands what I'm talking about. It has to show some emotion and it has to touch you. Uh, stop motion animation is basically making a photo for each single frame. The way I do it using all sorts of little illustrations means I have to move each bit and make a photo and then move it again, make another photo. It's a very time consuming process. Philippe and Jorge showed me their research and explained me what it was about. The scientists, they use lots of detail and different information and they know how everything is related to each other. So when we work together we have to negotiate. As scientists we usually just show our science to the scientific community. It's very limited. So we have a responsibility with society in general and I think this is a very interesting and alternative way to tell what's going on with our science, what we are doing. The big picture is we have a lot of questions related with how marine ecosystems are going to respond under climate change. How my PhD is going to contribute in this major question is providing further information about how species interactions are going to change under climate change. I'm looking specifically uh, the interaction between rock lobsters and octopus. Tasmanian waters are, are considered a global hotspot. Uh, this is because of the East Australian current um, extending further south into this region. And in consequence, more than 70 species have been recorded to extend their distribution into this area. Uh, one of these species is the common Sydney octopus, uh, Octopus tetricus, which is the species that I'm studying. Octopus are very uh, successful predators within the ecosystem. They can be very sensitive to uh, environmental changes. And the warmer temperature, they can increase in abundance and distribution. The arrival of a new species into this area uh, might cause changes in the ecosystem. So we want to know what those changes are likely to be and how we can adapt to those changes. The particular questions of my project are determining how old these octopus can live, what's the lifespan, uh, how fast they can grow, uh, if they are reproducing here in Tasmania, the preferred temperature so I can tell well in the future this species might be distributed in Tasmania until this region. Each year the Tasmanian rock lobster fisheries loses almost 1.5 million financial losses by octopus predation of lobster. The innovation of my PhD is including species interaction within that predicted knowledge. There is a growing interest from scientists and people involved in the fishery around the world on understanding what's going on with these species changing their distribution. The stop motion is a very interesting project uh, with Malou and Felipe, so people can understand it better and in simple, entertaining, visual ways. And what I want to show through the animation is that particular world where everything is living happily, but also get the message across. Things are changing um, and that people should know about it. <laughs>